Good morning and welcome back to Falcon TV. It's Friday, April 30th, 2021. I'm Nadia along with the rest of the FTV crew. All this week, we have been airing the Teen Center Describes for Success, one easy and beneficial way to relax is guardian. According to the study, guardianing just two to three times a week maximizes the benefits of bettering well-being and lower stress levels. The research explored why while residents engaged with guardianing and the extent to which they recognized any health benefits from their activity. When guarding, our brains are pleasantly distracted by nature around us. This shifts our focus away from ourselves and our stresses, thereby restoring our minds and reducing negative feelings. Guarding is like effortless exercise because it doesn't feel as strenuous as going to the gym, for example, but we can expend sim expand similar amounts of energy. Most people say they garden for pleasure and, and enjoyment, so the likelihood of getting hooked to gardening is also high. And the good news is that from a mental health perspective, you can't overdose on gardening. Just a reminder, this Saturday from 1130 to 1 p.m. is the Ocrest Ambassador Clothing Drive. Clothing accessories, belts, handbags, scarves, hats, gloves, etc., linens, sheets, blankets, towels, comforters, etc., stuffed animals, small toys, bikes, scooters, car seats with the base only, and shoes also. Just make sure the shoes are bagged separately and the bag is marked. The band thanks you very much for your support. India's coronavirus surge continues to worsen, with hospitals reportedly refusing patients in many areas depleted of critical medical supplies like supplemental oxygen. The average case rate has topped 330,000 new cases per day, the highest reported by any country at any point in the pandemic. Officials have resorted to mass funeral pyres to dispose of bodies. One of the most powerful examples of the significance of police body-worn cameras played out in the recent trial of Derek Chauvin. The video collected from the body-worn cameras of the police officers involved in Floyd's arrest showed his death from a variety of angles, and prosecution and defense attorneys used the video extensively as they argued the case. Across the country, police departments are increasingly using body-worn cameras to better monitor what officers are doing out in the field with the hope that they will reduce the prevalence of misconduct and improve fairness in policing. In one of the latest studies about the equipment, a team of public safety experts and world economists say body-worn cameras are both beneficial and cost-effective. For example, among the police department study, complaints against police dropped by 17% and the use of force by police during fatal and non-fatal encounters fell by nearly 10%. One researcher said that integrating the technology into policing practices can be an important step towards making policing fair and more accountable. Today is the last day for juniors to purchase tickets for the prom. Remember that dancing is now permitted, so even more reasons to make the night a special one. So make sure to go to booktix.com and get your tickets today. Well, that's all for today. So from me and everyone here at Falcom TV, have a great day.